Welcome! Here are five things I wish I knew earlier when playing RS3. Sit forward, get tense, focus, and succeed! Number one, Vizwax. Do this every single day. Grab your Wicked Hood, use it to teleport to the Runecrafting Guild at the top of the Wizard's Tower. From here, go into the Guild and look at the Rune Goldberg machine. You put three types of runes into the machine and it spits out Vizwax. Vizwax is worth around 20k each, and you can get up to 100 every day from this machine. That's 2 million GP a day. Do it for 30 seconds work. Click on the machine, and you have to choose three different types of runes. Guess by clicking randomly, and use the little faces on the left hand side to get to gauge how successful you are being. Otherwise, you can use a website such as the one linked here to optimize. The more times you change your runes selected, the larger quantity of runes you will need. The runes are taken directly from your bank account. Profit, it's literally over in 30 seconds. Ace. Now for the second thing I wish I knew earlier. You can change which skills you're given challenges for. Who knew? Go to a challenge master. Here I am at the one in Prif. You can right click the NPC and select toggle. At this point, any skill you have 99 in you can remove from your daily challenges list. This means even if you don't care about challenges, you are far more likely to just stumble into competitive challenges as the pool of potential challenges offered is reduced the more 99s you have. Ace. Tip 3. Pay, pay, pay attention to settings. Organize your, your, your UI. First off, one thing which really bugged me was clicking on familiars during combat or skilling. Use these settings to make the familiar invisible to mouse clicks. It's as if you click through the familiar onto the floor it's standing on, which is 9 tenths of the time what you're looking for. Next, turn off transparency for the UI. It makes it look cleaner and also keeps your gameplay focused on the area of the screen you actually interact with. Also, select these options for making the UI look more trim. Then, consider increasing the size of buff and debuff icons also. This just makes it clearer and quicker for you to see what's going on. Have a look through the remaining settings. There is actually a ton in here to optimize your gameplay. Ace. Number four, Croesus. This is a skilling boss, and it's worth looking at over other videos as actual guides. Here are the facts. This, you can't die in Croesus. You can only faint, returning you to the start. You lose nothing but the time you invest. You can learn Croesus on World 68, which I highly recommend you do. Start with public instances. Once you have some of the mechanics down, attempt joining the Croesus FC chat to find teams of four-man or eight-man attempts of the boss. These groups will be guaranteed to make at least 10 million per hour. The boss is genuinely fun, has far deeper than expected mechanics, and forced me to finally get bladed dive and now looking at double surge. Tip 5. Don't always attempt what you see others doing on Twitch. It can be easy to watch somebody else doing something that looks easy. They'll soul split their way to victory against a hard boss. They won't take any food. They don't even appear to really think. And it looks easy, so you think, I'll try. There's actually a heck of a lot of depth, practice and talent that goes into those setups. So don't expect that day one from your attempt. Realign your expectations and grow bit by bit. For example, for me, by far and away, the biggest PDM unlocking experience I had was to learn and invest in augmented weapons and armor in, with invention. You do need this. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if it has. And if you would like more details or a video with similar tips, tricks and advice, like and subscribe, and it'll be on its way in return. Adios.